Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Enclave Level. But right now, we gotta talk about God Bless the Enclave. While we have plenty of reasons to remember the past, it is high time we look towards the future. An American future, free from the mutant menace occupying our beloved homeland. God bless the Enclave, and God bless America. America. Very, very good. We bought a clear war on the reservation, which is fine. We can ransack the labs. We can do the Yakuza. We can get the perfect human and poison the bear. That'd be kind of fun to get that FAV, which wouldn't be bad. We could try that. We've got quite a few comments to go through as well, but... Uh, what do we want to do here? Yeah, like I said before, in the last episode, I wish we could just remove part of the street so we don't have to see it. Um, once we choose the purest route, but whatever. I I'm just nitpicking for that stuff. Ooh, power armor would not be bad. How much power armor are we out? Because I do want to feel more... Oh, I do want to feel more divisions. Um, yeah. The Moda County Military Cache. Unbeknownst to them, the natives were squatting on a sizable cache of pre-war military equipment. With them cleared out, we could focus on recovering said equipment for our purposes. We got quite a bit of political power here, too, which is really nice. Uh, turn away refugees, we could. But I don't know anything about that. I literally don't know a single thing about that. We can still hide from the NCR. Uh, we'll see. We're still training a lot of the guys here. Supplies are, well, not great. 5% attrition. Of course, from uh, training, but still. Uh, yeah, it's... Yeah, it's, it's definitely okay. It's not great. We do want to train as much as possible, but... Stop training for now. Get as much organization. We are going to launch an invasion soon, hopefully. Hopefully get a, enough uh, power armor. So we can do well. I should do that one, and then the military surplus, and maybe we'll do poison the bear. We'll see. Maybe. There are older caches of equipment for those who don't consider themselves above digging for antiques. Because we need as much power armor as possible. Oh my goodness. Uh, if we don't get that one done, whatever. Oh, we can also call the remnants. So it wouldn't be bad. A little more manpower. Safety political power, why not? Sounds pretty good to us. Workshop policies, we don't really need that right now. We can wait. Also, we did get these extra divisions here just because I called the remnants. You can tell Enclave veterans, Enclave veterans, and some remnants over here too, so. I did call them from the depths of heck. So, mm, rooted, I love rooted. More max and churchmen, so nice, but power armor all the way, man. Power armor for a power armor game. Operational security is compromised. Oh boy. Miss President, we are hearing reports of NCR radio chat and the reference to our facilities. We've also received one report of an NCR spy stumbling into one of our conference rooms, completely unaware of where exactly he was. Needless to say, the NCR is sure to notice something's terribly wrong. We don't act now. Continuing to operate as normal may have dire consequences. Time has come. Cease aggressive tactics. Cease resource extraction. We can always wait a little bit longer if we really wanted to. Do more stuff here first. Make ourselves a little bit stronger. So let's do cease aggressive tactics because we have two more options here as well. So we can do that one. And, uh, let's see, ransack their labs, or the perfect human. Let's go labs. Medical technology is of immeasurable value to our purposes due to the low numbers compared to the mutants. The labs of Vault City have many pre-war medical technologies as well as their own advancements. Furthermore, the advanced state of the city compared to the rest of the waste has given rise to the notion that we may be dealing with more than degenerative mutants in this case. Actually, we could probably honestly go to war with someone else first, and then do really well. I'm going to wait till we get that one. Wait till the next year. We're getting close to 2279 to do this one. And then we'll jump over there as well. I think that'd be okay for now. Um, okay, might not be bad. But then again, I, I don't want too much of a border with the 80s just yet. Oh. It's been so long that... Oh, they're trying to kill each other now. Okay. Oh, you are smitten by a woman. Like it. Well, that is what it is. There was a comment saying that I should do the called Diana Path. A le legend's end. Yeah, swaying a legend. Huh. Yeah, I definitely need to do that path. Because I have played uploading our values or uploading, uploading our deals before. So that was a lot of fun. Called it Diana. Yeah. Definitely have to play that path sometime. Cool. But a lot of comments. Someone said, what was the UI for the occupation screen at 3853 last time? Um, let me get through this part first. And then we'll look at that just a little bit. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, and heavy troop production. Why not? And, oh. There you go. Um, the occupation thing is just over here. This is what the UI the guy was referring to. I mean, it's not, nothing it's too special here. Um, let's see. Yeah, no, no. There's nothing here to transfer. That was one of the comments. Can you come over here and just use transfer button? Doesn't really look like it. Oh, I guess you can exploit resources. I guess there's that one. No guess of compliance. Uh, at this point, I'm, we're kind of okay. I mean, we have so much compliance, I'm not really too concerned about it, so. We'll be alright. And Reno, thank you, thank you, goodbye, thank you, no, thank you. We don't really need the money either. We just spent political power for basically nothing, but whatever. Uh, so, yeah, it's a normal UI. Hmm, 
Oh yes, aquatic combat training is very nice as well. We're going to do that stuff. What else? Naval modules? No industry would be quite nice. Because I will wait just a little bit first. Uh, anything over here? Uh, recon kit? No. Support equipment? Yeah, I guess a matching tank. That'd be quite good to get. Plant cultivation would be nice. Get some more extraction because you can. Very good, very good, very good. And... Oh, and stuff is done. Nice. Ooh, for you. Let's wait for you. Because you may have three divisions, but I'm not sure how I'm going to use you all yet. And also, we do want to take Redding, so we're going to fling ourselves that way. Wow, they're not looking too good there. The Maccabees, huh? Is that a Jewish thing? Hmm. Huh. Ransack the labs. And then, the perfect human. The second goal of FEV Project was to create the ultimate soldier decades ago. We accomplished something close to that feat in the form of Frank Horrigan. It's time to continue where we left off and perfect our formula. More division, attack, and defense, and, of course, 15% more organization, which is super nice. Really flipping nice, actually. Yeah, we don't have any caps now. We can call the Remnants again. Need more manpower. Fine with me. I love more manpower. What are we building? Civvies still? Okay. And that comment was, when, uh, when can I play as New Canaan, but do the Joshua Graham route? That is a good question. I would like to play as him. I did do the... the I don't think I did do the full... What do they call it? Sacrilege path? No, it wasn't sacrilege. Uh, decadence path, I think. So, Cain and Glory, Cain and Flame. So, I definitely have to play them again. So, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, someone says, I, in the past, I said I would use a remove the Special Forces cap sub mod. I don't know what a good one uh, at the time of this recording. I would like to use one, but I don't know of a good one that still works at the time of this recording. So. Yeah, we'll see about that. Oh, at least we got some extra power on here now. Um, oh, basic caravans are good as well. Very good, very, 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 very good. What else? Uh, let's see. There's a Robot City submod that we should use. I should try that out sometime. Use very high quality teams. Do do not research the XO2 uh, power armor until we have at least PA quality boost. Do not pair drop. Get military buffs um, to save your guys and stuff like that. So after we run the labs, go into the perfect human. And honestly, I kind of just want to go to war anyways right now. So, what is this? Purify the city. Ooh, implants. Honorary humans. As much as a little of cores. We definitely have to purify the city, so poison the bear. Uh, I mean, I do want to try. The time's coming to lay waste. Those renegade upstarts of California who defile this nation with their very existence. Today we avenge Navarro, control stations, enclave, and all those murdered by the NCR. Today we want the bear's head on the wall of history. Now let's talk about more focuses and whatnot. They're looking really not too good at all. Why is that? Yeah, look, call me safe. So we'll try, I mean, I've done this before and it does work well. I mean, someone said they tried it on veteran and it doesn't work well, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. We don't have to do it necessarily to get to the next stage of the game yet, but, you know, we'll see. And if it doesn't go well, then I'm just going to uh, uh, probably do more uh, focuses off screen and then catch up with everybody else. And try it again and again. There goes Nueva Atslam. Let's see. Go with the civilian factory advisor and research speed guy. Let's see. So this guy, eh, that's not bad. Civilian factories, cities, infrastructure. That'd be, actually, that'd be, Beauregard would be really good too. Yeah. All right. Well, I did ask, so let's go with you, and we'll go with you, and then what else? Respect to Sergeant Dornan, politically connected, Attorney General. Not bad. Someone says, yeah, do the Diana and call the Diana path. Go with destroy the Legion. Do the Metro mod for Hearts of Iron Four. I completely forgot about that one. Uh, that sounds like a lot of fun, honestly. So, yeah, that'd be a lot of fun. Maybe I should not spend all the political power for this one. Uh, or this one, too. That was my bad. Oh, well, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, what else do we have? Destroy the Legion. Relocate factories to the depot using occupation laws. Well, maybe we could take a look at it real quick. Let's go see. Nixon? So, we want to exploit resources. Oh, no. It's just dismantle industry. There you go. So, now, with this one here... Um, use the salvage industry decision moving industry from province with this factory on capital. Oh, also that's how you do it. Dump dirty FEV. There's that one. Uh, procurement of things? No, it would be up here. Maybe give it a day. No. Well, there's nothing here to even transfer. So, uh, let's there we go. Uh, what what place has factories? This place, the courtyard has a lot of factories, so let's go to, to Dismantle Industry. Yes, and thank you. Give it a day, maybe. Ah, so there we go. So that's how you do it. You have to do Dismantle Factories and stuff like that. 
Remove two arms workshops from the courtyard. Add two off-map arms workshops. That uses a lot of command power, though. Remove seven. Add seven. Holy crap. I mean, honestly, right now, it won't matter in the future. So, like, we're going to have enough factories and enough compliance. It doesn't really matter to me. So, we should be okay. The perfect human. <sighs> Nothing like it. The perfect, perfect human. Someone says use the navy? Yeah, we could try to use the navy. We'll need it for, like... Well, sometimes we actually don't need it. Maybe, some, maybe sometimes for stuff up, like up here. High Confederation, which it's been a while since I've taken them out. So, yeah. This will be full campaign conquest. So, we're going to take out the entire map, for better or for worse. Yay. Also, apparently, if you touch some of these out these provinces out here, uh, the game will crash. So, at the time of this recording, do not touch any of these map these uh, uncolonized states or provinces. Or your game will crash. I mean, unless you want your game to crash. I, I, I don't want my game to crash, but, you know, it is what it is. Ooh. TAA? Oh, oh, my gosh. What the heck, guys? That is disgusting. And now we have that one going. We'll see if we can do it. If we can't pair drop well, well, then we suck. At least I suck. Mm, construction speed, I'd like that a lot, but whatever. Uh, purify the city. With uh, <clears throat> the city in our hands, we can begin to cleanse it of the mutant menace, leaving only those few unmuted enough to be considered human. Now, I I did tab over. I didn't tab over, actually. I'll look at the victory points. 25 over here. Gunnarsson Ranch is 10. Stockton is 5, which actually... We should have done this one instead, but whatever. That might still be enough. That might not be enough. If it's not enough, I will do some funky stuff off screen to make sure that we get, get it all taken care of. Hopefully, like that. This is not a core because of Umbra. Because of Umbra. And it's obstructive piloting. That's only five. So, you really want to look at the victory point total. With 14 divisions, hopefully, at least 12 of them make it. I hope. So, that's my goal. That's my hope. So, oh. And we don't need to talk about quality versus quantity and whether we use or sack Sac City. It's not Sac City, but one of those cities. Who dares wins? Very nice, very nice. We're done with our special forces stuff. Great. Let's grab some medical stuff. Oh, look at that, all of that command power. More army XPX, please, 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 please. We could spend the PP for us, but there's really no point to. Nice. Um. You know what? I still want to use you. Oh, we don't have command power now. Duh. Actually, doctrine's available. Naval doctrine. Oh. What happened here? Uh, sucky tech. What the heck happened? Um. Well, this must be glitched. Oh, this is not good. Oh, boy. No land doctrine, guys. No land doctrine. Two years ahead of time. No. Well, that's quite peculiar. I didn't change anything from last time. It's pretty much all the same as last time, so... Oh, boy. Operational security compromise. Radio jams. False reports as usual. Come on, guys. Can we get there, please? Got a couple days left. That's fine. Yeah, now that makes me very concerned about all this stuff. Well, we'll see what we're able to do. If it's not very good, I might have to double check this stuff off screen. Holy crap. It's not very good at all. Actually, since we're pair dropping anyways, um, let's try it. Ezra Abbott, let's try it. Well, we're dropping. Fall Shady Sands, nice. Very good. Well, we've dropped. And it's not enough. Oh, boy. Oh, Greater Day Glow. So, uh, there is that one, I suppose, that we would need. Uh, so, that does suck. I mean, doing like this really sucks. Um, we get Dana Point. That's not bad. You guys are over here as well. Uh, you know, Bill, it's not bad. Yeah, it's pretty suicidal doing it like this, actually. I might have to redo, reconfigure exactly which points we want to drop in. But, yeah. Okay, so I think overall that this, that's not possible to do that anymore. Because we did take Rutting. They're taking our lines quite a bit. I think the only way you can really do this now is if you just have to grind against them. Which does kind of suck. I mean, we used to be just be able to pair drop on them. I mean, maybe we didn't take everything here, but like... We've got the Boneyard. We've got, uh, Tijuana. Why am I in Tijuana? 
We need Greater Jake We did take Farmville. And that's actually worth quite a bit. Um, yeah, that's different. I mean, maybe they reworked the victory points. Because now we gotta go back to the drawing board. Sack City Remnants. After the fall of Navarro, many survivors tried the luck at integrating into the NCR. Well, a large number were found out and arrested, many more successfully began their new lives in Sack City. Those people and their descendants now have petitioned us to join their own, rejoin the Enclave. Welcome back. They turned their back on the Enclave in the fall of Sack City. The most beautiful city of Sacramento is now ruined, or in ruins, occupied by mutant squatters. Its liberation is a great victory for the Enclave in America. We even managed to free some of our long-lost brothers and sisters from mutant prisons. For the Enclave, in which... Okay, I've done a couple more focuses off-screen, such as... Anti-NCR propaganda. Though our younger members may not remember the crimes against us at Navarro, we have many reasons to seek their destruction of the NCR. Let us compile our grievances into a broadcast to remind our soldiers why we fight. Extend presidential powers. Enclave Pres is more powerful than the pre-war equivalents, but nonetheless limited by certain restrictions. In the face of our final victory against the NCR, we can remove these limitations and grant our president total power over the Enclave and America. Lessons from the war. The war against the NCR is unlike any conflict the Enclave has engaged in for centuries. It's a wake-up call for our generals to reinvent their doctrines or risk the total destruction of humanity. Uh, which one do we do? Oh, do we have war? Silence Congress. <coughs> I love silence in Congress. The Enclave president has always shared some power with the Congress of Representatives. While the equivalent was a symbolic institution at best, the word was nonetheless carried some power and the suggestions were noted. So I tell they fall in line. Now, I've already gone ahead and done anti NCO propaganda. We have the FEV already doing stuff. Oh, we could dump the dirty FEV, but we need Marysville Ranch. Marysville Ranch, so we can't quite do that one. It's all right. Um, so yeah, we just started off. I started like grinding just a little bit with the NCR here. They're still here over here just doing stuff. But overall, that's not bad. Oh, also, the brother, I guess, went to war with as well, which definitely helped us out, which I didn't even plan at all. Like, I did not plan for this part to happen at all. So I think right now, you know what's good? Have you guys all come back up here and focus on the line up here and destroy them up here. I'll come back further south if we possibly can. So, uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully we do well. Hopefully we don't do poorly. So, no guarantees, but let's more. Also, I did, I, it's not glitched. I, I'm just so not used to this anymore, where you can actually go to your land auction like this. Because now we're doing purity, which is nice and all, but like, I'm so not used to actually selecting a land auction like this. But it's like, we need enough, I'm so used to the new way to do it, so. It is what it is, but you know, whatever. Up next, Silence Congress. Followed up with, uh, Emergency Draft. I don't really like that, it can be removed by decision. Yeah, this one's not really worth doing. Give more population, recruitable population factor, mobilization speed. Get a lot less research speed and factory output, though. Should they need a ride, we must prepare to draft any non-essential personnel from non-military departments into the Enclave forces. But instead, I prefer repairing the power plant. In the regiments, the people of Vault City were never capable of restoring the nearby power plant to its full potential. With the city fully secured, we can send in our engineers to complete this task. Not bad. Also, this time around, we did go ahead... Oh, dump the dirty FEV. Yes. Actually, what do we have for these people? And assimilator refugees, enclave efficiency. Wow, plus 70%. Um, vengeance, we get more organization stuff, which is really good for the next couple weeks. Really good. Attack bonus against these guys. Presidential dictatorship, tariff relief, FEV enhanced soldiers. Of course, for purists, which is great, 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 great. Um, you guys are doing great down there as well. We kind of abandoned the area a little bit-ish. So, I'm not going to do anyways because we can. I don't want you to attack anymore. I want you to hold. Just hold. Supplies kind of suck down here, but just hold. With the brother doing stuff over here, and they're fighting. We're fighting the she as well. Honestly, if the brother could die while we're fighting these guys and pretty much destroy the NCR at the same time, I would I honestly prefer that. Oh. Of course, we have the Rangers over here, which we will have to do with as well. So, uh, so instead of doing this guy now, which does suck, it's if we're not going to really pair drop, uh, we're just going to get more attack. Let's do it. My bad, guys. I just. I, I'm disappointed that. I, did they nerf it? They must have nerfed it or something. It's just not as effective as it used to be. I mean, it used to be just be able to pair drop a whole bunch, but maybe maybe I was just doing it wrong. I don't know. <clears throat> but I'm disappointed in that. Quite disappointed. Let's get all this stuff over here. Oh, they did take part of Klamath, which is nice. Uh, so they're okay down there too. Emergency drop, nice. We're claiming the Californian army bases. The NCR is illegally occupying the many U.S. military bases. Once we have claim them, we can get to excavating them and recovering whatever has not been looted, looted by the mutants. And we must do super mutant slaves. By utilizing monster super mutants produced by the master, we can increase the speed at which our buildings are built. However, these beasts are still a force to be reckoned with, and any sign of resistance should be dealt with quickly and with extreme prejudice. God, if we're not using extreme prejudice here, we're not doing it right. Huh. <sighs> yeah. Oh, yeah, ciphers. Forgot all about all that stuff. You know what? Screw it. You guys all come do this stuff. I don't want to waste my power armor in the mountains up here. I'd rather waste my power armor downstairs. And by downstairs, I mean in the southern portion here. So you guys will be fine. I'm more concerned about stuff like this. And yes, we will go to war with the everyone else pretty much as well, so. 
That'll be good. Oh! We're out of vehicles. Oh, because we're transferring a lot of guys, too, so. You guys will be fine doing that. I'm not really super concerned about that. We still get two political power every day. Rem remove the emergency draft. Eh, we could do that if we really wanted to. Two mutant slave renos. We could dress the nation. Bug. We had Plalock's designs. Although, sadly, the man who proposed to hack Plalock was a for reformer who suffered a plasma grenade related accident. Yeah, it's an accident. We can still emulate Tlaloc's robot designs. In a way, he's more human than many of the mutants who infested America. But also, I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should or not use quality versus quantity. And overall, there's more support for, at the time of this recording, for... Quality. And we already chose quality. If you saw it earlier, I forgot about that, so it is what it is. Quality, 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 quality. We like hard robots. Anyways, you guys are up here. You guys are fine. Yeah, this is actually not too bad. Where are you guys at? You know, if you're down there, just go. Just seriously, just go. I, I'm not concerned at all about this stuff, so. Um, I'm sure we'll have to choose here. But we'll see how many divisions we actually end up using, so. You know what? I don't want any more of that stuff. We have enough manpower, too, which is nice for now. Oh, we have bricks. I love bricks. I love bricks. Bricks are nice and hard, like candy. Where do you think I was going to go with that sentence? Um, not, even I didn't know where I was going to go with that one. Uh, go to Visila. Visalia. Visalia. Cool. These guys got lucky, but that does mean we have to take these guys out at the same time. Hmm. Eh, get some more army because you can. Address a nation. Nah, we're good. Non-discriminatory targeting. That's right. And airborne assaults, yes please. There you guys might do that too, that's fine. Do that as well. So then these guys will fight the Steel Rangers and the Western Brotherhood at the same time. Second battle for Hoover Dam. Oh boy. Oh boy. Exploration for technology. If you remember that, please guard ahead. Find a leader for the party? Yes please. It's fine with us. Well. Two slaves. It's gonna kinda suck. Um. You know what, maybe we should make them come more... Hmm. Literally here, just to hold the line. And so we can expand how much power we can actually use, so... Uh-huh. Rapid response divisions? Yeah, no. Infantry enclave, power armor 2. This is a key one. You can make one, that's it. Yeah, we're definitely gonna... Oh! There's all this wasteland up there, that's nice. Um, let's defeat these guys first, and we'll help defeat the rangers. And if we can, we'll come all the way down here too, so... Because now we're stuck. Which I don't like. I mean, actually, you might be able to pair drop into these guys since they're so spread out And at this point. Yeah, actually, you could be able to do that. To capitulate them very quickly. And then kill off these guys. And then go to war with those guys. That is one strategy. How many divisions do they have? The Steel Rangers. They have 15, 16, 000. That's, uh, that's quite a few divisions. How about you guys? You have how many? 46? Eh, it's still not that bad, actually. We could probably push really hard into them, but... Hmm. We could try it. We could definitely try it. The ranger question, of course. I uh, apologize for taking so long. You know what? Can you just do it like this, and then drop right there? And do that to right there. And then we'll just kind of let them figure out how they want it all drop. Uh, do that, and then same from same place. This might go well, this might not go well. I really want to use pair drops, because I remember, I didn't get criticized, but I was recommended I should do a lot of pair drops before. Could be wrong about that, though. <clears throat> the 305, don't want to forget about that one. Mount Jefferson. Might want to take out the 80s, too, while we're at it. Give me more stuff, in general. Um, that's good. Kansas outpost. That's not bad. Not bad. We got, we got most of them here. I take that one too. And you know what? Since you're here, take out Shady Sands once more. There you go. See what you can do. So after Tlaloc's designs, oh, we do want to do cloning as fast as possible. But the Ranger question: We've kind of bored a parody of pre-war U.S. Rangers. We should prepare for the risk of them aligning themselves towards the NCR, pulling us into a two-front war. Push through the Rangers. Hold the line. Defense against the country, research in line, lessons from construction, plan of defenses, or push through the rangers. Blue our supply lines, infrastructure construction speed, infrastructure experience, aggressive preparations, anti-ranger plan attacks. Nice. 
Oh, I got some dockyards, huh? We definitely need more facilities. Military factories, I should say. It's anti tank as well. Scrap bots? Eh, sure, do that. And then no. Just no. You guys will be fine over there. I'm not too concerned about this war. Everyone have orders? Everyone's looking okay? Definitely looking okay. Could take out the 80s, I guess, immediately. And there goes the Legion. Everyone hates the NCR, which is fine with me. But as soon as the NCR dies, I want to launch the invasion into the Steel Rangers. Actually, how long will it take for us to just, just go to war with them? Straight up. Oh, 10 days. That's really easy. Even though I do want to get all the stuff. Is a neighbor. Eh, we do have to get all the stuff first, maybe? Maybe not. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> and there you go. Push through the Rangers. A lightning strike through the Rangers could bring us straight to the gates of the capital of the NCR. We should make preparations for the most strong push and the challenges of fighting an offensive war through the desert. Bridgeport's ready to go. I want to get as many of those focuses done as possible for herself. That'd be kind of nice. Hello, senor. Yes. Thank you. The Ranger question. F oh, FEV play mutations. Secure the Beale Air Force Base? Oh, sure, why not? Oh, they'll get more attack. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's fine. They're dying anyways. They should do fine. We should do okay against them. Uh, improve our supply lines? Yeah, that'd be nice. Supplying an army through pushing it through a desert is a challenge we must be able to face, prepared to face, improving our existing supply lines will be invaluable when the time comes. And now we've got to wait for so. Oh. Well, hello there. I guess we got all that stuff, too. Oh. Huh. Alright. Sounds good to me. Here, just build a lot of stuff up first. That's fine with me. I don't care. Specialized alloys. There you go. Airborne assaults. Scorched earth. Yes. 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 Ah, the she must have to die then. Ah, they did become a major power. Yeah, we did the most casualties. Not bad. We lost... Oh, that, that was us. No, we lost well over 300 men. And women, which does kind of suck, but whatever. There we go. We can probably remove the draft. Once we once the war's over, then we'll remove the draft. It's fine. Stonks? Yeah, sure, why not? Let's just give this time to just take them all out like this. And we pair drop into them, and it'll strike south. Nice. Good stuff. I can resurgence. Don't really care too much about that. Cass. There you go. Brush through the rangers. Improve our supply lines. A lessons from construction. Our engineers have plenty, gained plenty of practical experience building infrastructure in the last few months. We can cement their knowledge by requesting that they document their findings properly. Pretty much. Yeah, I could use more millies. I got some bi basic biplanes. Oh, jeez. There you go. Each group should get at least 100. Nice. <coughs> and some guys are spared as well. These guys are dying, which is great, 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 great. Recon dose. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Mm. Oh, look at that stability. Unassim oh my gosh, it's unassimilated refugees. Turn away refugees. I guess we could. Here, just assimilate them. I guess. It doesn't make any sense why we would, but whatever. Minus... That's what refugees do to your own nation. Minus 60% stability. Holy crap. That's insane. Uh, that's for here. There you go. You got one. And U.S. Chemical Core. I forget. Plasma or Tesla? I kind of like Plasma. Tesla weapons design teams. Let's get this one first going, though. Desert training would be good as well. I won't get all this stuff before we go actually do any war stuff. My god, they're taking so long to take out the sheep. I think they're going to get them eventually. Should, at, at the very least. You guys looking okay as well. Just going to hang out. Have a good old time. Eastport, Shadow Jack Churchill. Still here, looking good, looking good. Not bad. Desert training. Desert requires a change in military tactics and protocol. With the right training, we can prepare soldiers for these challenges. <coughs> Pretty much, man. Pretty much. Um, uh, let's go back to research. San Fran's going to die. Um, right gear would be nice. Mass driver plasma. We don't have plasma, so we want to do Tesla stuff then. Let's do Tesla stuff. Oh, there we go. So we won. I think we should take all the territory here, and we probably won't, honestly. So. Oh. 
The Wallace. Oh, oh, it became Wallace Wasteland. That's kind of nice. We'll be slightly fair to the Legion. If we have a good fight in the melee, so be it, you know. Um, where's the Legion here? There you go. You can have some of this stuff for now. Um, hmm. You can have all this stuff here first. That's all you get. Mm, yeah. We'll be fair. Though we don't have to be fair, but you know what? I'd rather be a little bit fair here. And the Lawless Wasteland has some of that stuff. You know, more power to the Lawless Wasteland. There you go. There, you guys can deal with each other first. Actually, you don't deserve that stuff. You guys have more of the stuff up here, too. There you go. Make it nice for them. Oh, and you guys get this, too. Because we do have focus to take out the Brotherhood as well, so. And you guys also get some stuff up here. You get another stuff. You know what? You can deal with the stuff, too. I don't want to deal with the resistance yet. <coughs> Is that fair? I don't care about fair. There you go. The end of the NCR. So not Plasma. A little Tesla, though. Um, actually, right there, there you go, let's put you guys in half, oh, can we do that stuff, yeah, you should be able to just do enslave the locals, yeah, it should be more than fine for us, there you go, fix, got a couple divisions over there, and then one, two, three, four, five, go right there. And then that's not going to be enough divisions now, is it? No, it's not. Because you still have this area up here, too. Which, actually, there's different from supply issues, which I kind of like. I kind of like that look on them. There you go, rooted. Cool, we got that one research, too. Nice. And that one, too, because we can. Less construction, desert training. We should be able to instant capitulate them, but then again, I was wrong before, so. We'll see. We'll definitely see. Plan or attack. Well, no plan survives contact with the enemy. Having one does tend to help our soldiers do just that. Stuff like that, yeah. Very important. Heavy lifter bots. Treasure trove. If you want to go with that, please go right ahead. Skills and training paid off. Nice. <coughs> good, good, good. Ah, uh, radar. Mm, it's already level 4. That's pretty good. Don't really need to add any more. Scorched Earth. Sounds pretty good. Eh, let's do the Cabal. Thank you. And shock and all. Yay. Logistics. Recon. Desert training. We should be able to go to war whenever. Yeah, we can, which is nice. Just defend against these guys, capitulate them. And then move around and capitulate these guys too. And they'll go to war with the uh fine folk over here too. Actually, how are we looking down here? Lawless Wasteland? Well, so they're connected to Western Brother. Let's not deal with it too much right now. We, we don't have to deal with it yet, so. Yeah, but this is looking really good. All these. It's not bad. And they might be able to push out against us a little bit. Desert training. Great. Plan our attack. Because I do want to see what decisions we have down here as well. <coughs> but after that, what are we going to do? Strike Team Droctrin. Formalize the forces. Central Command. Ooh, that's not bad. Air Supremacy. Ooh, that's not bad either. Ooh, yeah, that's not bad at all. Precise battle plans. You get even more organization, less supply consumption. Advanced, oh, F-85 fighters, though. Or strike teams. Strength and VBO2. Ooh. And localized command. Less max planning, more speed. Drop training. Oh, that's not bad. Versus flexible battle plans. Interesting. Well, probably War of the, oh, the Brothers is going to autocomplete anyway. It's a bro brother who steals an old enemy of ours. While the defenses between us kept them off our mind, that time has passed. They will no longer be a threat to the existence of the United States once we are done with them. Which wouldn't be bad, I guess, you know, since they are suffering quite a bit of attrition. Well, we might not be enough here to really do anything about it, but still. Oh, Legion marches. Oh, he's going to stop Caesar in his or Kaiser in his bed to stop the waste. So why did I say Caesar? Pecos Colony, goodbye. Uh, I can move the draft, it's fine. Use a little more stability. There you go. Thank you. Is it because of it refugees? Oh my gosh, it's still so bad. Yeah, anyways, yeah. 
Plan our attack. Nice. Yeah, we can do a war with the brother, but it's all going out of complete. In their ignorance, the people of Vault City were never capable of restoring the nearby power plant to its full potential. With well, the city fully secure, secure, we can send our engineers to complete this task. Ezra Kemper. Why not? Well, I guess we can try to save and see what happens. Once we capitulate, then we should be able to move in pretty quickly. At least to them, and then see what we can do. I guess probably want to stop training. Three. Two. Actually, how close are you guys getting done? Oh, you're almost done. One. Should be able to just drop on them very easily. Destruction of Ranger Citadel. Can you force the attack, maybe? Oh, I missed one. Deep Deep Springs. I was going to say Deep Singers, but not quite. Parachuted. Nice. Scrap Heap. Yes. Apos Mesa. Please tell me this is still possible to do it like this. For the love of God. I mean, how are they not dead? Oh. Hey, okay, we got him. Okay, it did work. Not bad. Exactly what I thought it would take. Oh, hello. Oh, the Legion. Oh, they did spawn over there. That's, that was one of the comments saying, oh, be careful how they spawn. They're going to spawn over, you know, that's why you need a navy. So the first one was correct, 100% correct. Alright, War of the Brotherhood? Yeah. I guess they're next. Oh, look at this. This is nice. Here, just convert them to our side. Uncivil, civ on civilian unrest. There is increasing resistance to our presence in the new territory. Groups have gathered in and are becoming, are becoming increasingly more brash and violent. It seems that tension is now reaching a breaking point, resulting in widespread destruction. Um, I don't really care. You can disable it. There you go. It'll be fine for now. Actually, with, this, with all this wasteland, we can use that to a great effect right now. Um, we can really limit how much they can really try to strike us. If we wanted to, heck, we could... Ooh, we could try to pair drop on the Brotherhood. Or we could say, let them kill each other off first, and then we'll deal with them in a little bit. I don't like that idea. Oh, we could have done this one. Eh, it's alright. Whatever. Where you guys at? You're over there. Uh, I'll send half of you guys over here, too. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, okay that's not fine. Follow Shady Sands. Mr. President, as you're reading this communication, Enclave troops are marching through the capital city of the Mutant Empire of the NCR. Our troops are reported to being limited resistance, with many mutants as too sick to pick up weapons. It appears the NCR government has fled the city well before arrival, but it remains to be seen how much longer they'll be able to keep their overblown tribe together. Our story, or our victory, is certain. Oh, okay. Then, small little detour into this territory here. Oh, wait, we can't do that? Oh, wait, what? Oh, we need to do that other focus first. I deal with the Yakuza. The only worse thing than mutants is foreign mutants. Let us waste no time to remove the criminal infestation from our soil. Man, we're going to have to wait anyways. I kind of want to just kill the Brotherhood immediately, but Yakuza first. Or Yakuza. And now it's time to go to war with the Yakuza. I apologize about that little uh, sound in the background right before the fade out, uh, but it, my bad. I, I didn't realize I had my emails open. My apologies. But anyways, let's get rid of the Japanese mutants here. I think everyone would agree on that. As a flooding through the territory we just took, it's all right. And we gotta convert these guys to make sure that they're actually quality power armor. I mean, it's all quality, but like thick enough power armor. Because if they're not thick, we don't want them. And we like thickness here on the channel. The thicker, the better. The happier we become. Car City Zards are about to die. At least hopefully. That's a big idea. How many we lost in this war? None, as they should be. So, uh, the Brotherhood, and then we're killing each other, which is fine, 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 fine. But at the same time, 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 time. Okay, why are they over here now? Eh, that's fine, whatever. Can we try pair drop? I mean, it'd be kind of dumb if we tried to, but I kind of like pair dropping. I'm kind of a sucker for it at this point. If you just win wars, like, by pair dropping and cheesing the enemy, that's two. Three. Santa Barbara, never been. My dad's been there, though. Uh, four. 
Um, the hub five. Six. Oh, cr I hate when that does that. Some number. Good, good. Literally every single victory point. If you get every single one, then they're, they're gone. So, Santa Cruz? California is such a big state. Southern Diablo Range. Alpa. I think I'm missing a couple important ones down south. Uh, Boneyard. Well, I don't think we really need that one. That's not a core of theirs, so. Santa Maria. We need Blackwells. Glenville. After taking all these cells, we should have them fully capitulated. If we can take them all, of course. There you go. Oh, Antioch. Ooh, yeah, actually, we need Antioch. Make sure that one too as well. That's a big one. It's quite a biggie. Let's go take in the raid. Very nice. Scrap shacks. Very cool. There you go. Not bad. The Great Race. I love the Great Race. The Enclave Race. Yeah, because all this stuff is not... Oh my gosh, that's a lot of resistance. Oh, I guess the hub technically isn't either. Necropolis definitely is, though. Anything else? Recon kits, because you can. Riot control gear. Nice. Heavy lifter bots, because you can. Pretty good stuff. Um, yeah, you might as well just go on in if you can. Use well. Use well. For the bro hoods. And, oh, I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should sack the city of Carson City, or should we use Carson City and overall? There is more support for using Carson City. We can use the existing factors in Carson City for our purposes. Though regular interaction with the mutants of the city will not be great for morale. So, alright, we'll use it. And you know what? Like I say, when we use it, we're going to abuse it. Ooh, we don't have enough anti tank, do we? And we do not. They're not going to suck. Arenos. Son of a rock sucker. Do we have enough anti-tank though? Yes, we do, sir. Do we have enough demo equipment? No, we don't. We're not making a lot of equipment, just period. Let me take this again. Give them a few days first, get some of their equipment on there. Okay, that's good enough. Let's go in. I don't want to wait any longer. Can you go in and do well? Yep. Force the attack as you can anyways. Oh, Lawless Wasteland. Immediate fall lawless wasteland. Wow. There, head down there. Um, we'll see how we well we do because we've definitely deployed in a lot of these areas already. Ah, uh, nice job, guys. Not bad. Uh, how many more victory points do we need? We've captured literally everything they had. So, oh, this is glitched. Well, crap. Well, at this point, everyone, do that and don't starve and die. Where's the capital? There's Wallace, Wallace Wasteland down there. Uh, are you kidding me, bro? Here, just do this. That'll be ours. There you go. Sure, why not? Uh, you find them, you kill them. Simple as that. That's dumb. That's so stupid. You guys are the ones that are completely surrounded, so don't tell me that. That's also glitch as well. I think. Oh, dang it. Come on. Come on, man. That's so stupid. Navarro should not be the, a, a core victory point for them. Excuse me, sir. Stop now post. Son, I literally told you to go up this way. Do not disobey me again. You took everything but Navarro. That is that is very piss poor. Victory point management, in my opinion. 
That just does not make sense. And this oh, screws, oh, screws up the entire front line system too. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, but that's stupid. If if they, all they've left is their last victory point is literally just Navarro, that doesn't make any sense, man. We're gonna take everything too. I, I I don't care. I'm not gonna give anything to the those scum suckers over there. So they're busy fighting New Vegas, anyways. All the score, it's kind of meaningless. I mean, we took all the victory points. That's all you really need. Apologize for the cooking as well. I wonder if we can take on the, the Legion right now. I kind of doubt it, but... I guess if we try to pair drop onto them, maybe, but... We tried that with the NCR, and that didn't work out so well. Let's see. Do we get any um, more Lawless Wasteland? Oh, does the Legion up there as well? Oh, they took some of the Shi territory. That's not cool. Oh, that's not bad. Oh. Oh, I can't do any more propaganda. Okay, if you want to build that, please go ahead, so... Reclaim Navarro. We can finally reclaim our old base of operations. This alone is a good boost for morale, but there's always more to be gained. This base houses much of the most advanced and secret of research. Nice. If that's the case, I want y'all to just kind of hang out right there. Because we'll move move you up soon enough. And then you guys will go right there too. And actually, just do this as well. Thank you. Cool. Sam Fram. Everyone train. At this point, you might as well all train, and I'm going to convert you guys all to make sure that you are the right type of division that we want. What? Some of them are circled. Flower Wars, no one cares about. There you go. Riders, eh, Enclave Troops. No, that's kind of garbage as well. Who can we go to war with now? The 80 still, which is fine. You know, the less coast that the enemy can invade us from, the better. So, if you're about trades from life, please go right ahead, too. And the board is the bull. <coughs> Turn them away. Uh, so we can do more stability. With the NCR and its allies vanquished, we were able to catch a breath. Though we fear our victory may be short-lived, our borders now connect us to a horde of mutants, perhaps more terrible than any of our old enemies. Kaiser's Legion, a parody of pre-war history, defiles our soil with the very existence. It's only a matter of time before the dictator understands the true nature of our goals, and once more we will meet a mutant threat on the battlefield. Out of the frying pan! Not really concerned about it, though, at all. If anything, we can use this to great effect. We can just station guys in Mojave Outpost, or we could go 1, 2, 3, 4. I want to do the 1, 2, 3, 4 path, so. We'll see. It won't be that bad. I hope. And claim Navarro and cloning experiments. We must come to the harsh realization that our population is at an unsustainable level and that in about a few decades, the Enclave will die. We can't ever prevent this. By devoting significant time, resources, and manpower, we can begin the long process of creating viable clones from the genetic material of the past and present Enclave and American citizens. Might as well, man. Might as well. Expel mutants. We can push some of the mutants east into the Legion's hands. He may struggle to handle them, but buying his time will further boost his power. Alright, why not? Raid the Legion, we can attack the Legion's outpost and supply our lines by sound, but this will cost us. A thousand manpower? No. Secure the Trav's Air Force Base? Sure, why not? Well, why would we spend a thousand manpower for that? That literally makes no sense. Oh, what's this? Oh, boneyard disabled, whatever. My boneyard's been disabled. Actually, who else is in the Legion? Uh, it's probably best to go to war them quickly than anything else. Uh, the Northern Mojave Pact. <coughs> How sad. Ooh, we got more factories, though. That's good. That's real good. Get more of that. Get more of that. Get more of that. Uh, get more of that if you need it, too. Support equipment. We're going to need way more of that. Planes. Way, 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 way more. More, 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 more. Ah, who cares at this point? It's fine. It's fine. Stability? Yes, please. Clear one. Fail. Focus. Good. 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 Scan. Basic Boundaries, Second Massacre, Bitter Springs, alright, whatever. Recon Scout Kits, Organization. I think we're this again. We did submit it last time, let's do that one. Recon, not bad. So they have all that territory, which is actually, <coughs> excuse me, fine with us. Um. The Wrath of Kai's are. Enclave rumors are true. Stimpakis. 
Not bad. Uh, monthly fighters? I guess. Let's go with the 80s. Alright. Is there any, another guy person there? Um, all this area can be raided, unfortunately. That's kind of worthless. Clone experiments would be very nice. Very, very nice. Huh. Not robotic manufacturing. Unfortunately, we lack enough human power to run the wastelands, but we can use the robots to exploit the resources of the wastelands. Or wasteland. So, cloning, eh? Lead your marches. Clone experiments. As anyone says, a cloning facility that's not in use. Cloning failure than success. Build a cloning facility. More available than five. Oh, crap. Well, I gotta get rid of all these then. I get this one done first. It's fine. <coughs> cool. Thanks. Thanks so much. Uh, oh my gosh! Seriously, should be done. Come on. Stupid repairs. Oh wow, we got a big old board of the 80s. Well, they're gonna go to war with us anyway, so I'm glad we got these guys here on the border. See what we can do. We should be able to hold out here. Right? Right? Some brick housing? Nice. There you go. Come on. Oh, more than five. Okay, well, crap. What a waste. There you go. Clone experiments? We'll try it. We'll see what we can do. In the meantime, more roads. I love the roads. I love roads. Let me play see Skyline sometime. Cool. <coughs> but, you know what? I'll leave it to you guys. Should we do Strike Team Doctrine uh, with streamlined stuff, localized command, drop training, and flexible battle plans? Or should we do formalized forces, central command, precise battle plans? versus air supremacy and advanced fighter projects. Please let me know which route we should go for both sides, for either one that we choose. Other than that, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will fight the Legion. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.